Shalom. Jesus Christ is still the same yesterday, today, and forever. Innocent Java is my name, the son of Prophet Passion Java. I've made a personal decision just to rise up to the occasion and be the voice of wisdom, especially to our young generation today. I've come across many young men of God that are speaking up and voicing up, speaking against fathers of the land, speaking against great men of God of our time, especially great men that created and formed the foundation of this Christianity that we are now believing in today. As I was reading my Bible from the book of Numbers chapter number 11 to verse number 12, I came to understand the story of Miriam and Aaron. The Bible says in that time the Lord had spoken that no man should marry from Ethiopia. But what did Moses do? Moses went on to marry an Ethiopian. Moses went on to disobey what God had said. Miriam and Aaron, in good faith, opposed what Moses had done, in good faith. Actually, Moses was wrong in doing it. So Miriam and Aaron went to him to correct him. But the Bible says, and the Lord came down and he said, were you not afraid to speak against the Lord's anointed? Who are you to correct my main servant? Immediately, the Bible says Miriam was struck by leprosy. This is a lesson that every young minister out there need to understand. This is a lesson that every Christian needs to understand. If it comes to issues that are higher than you, you'd rather keep quiet. If there are matters that has nothing to do with you, Reserve your comment. Rather, pray for the man of God. Pray for the prophet. Rather than putting a comment that will make your generation cursed for generations to come. To those that are speaking against men of God today, are you not afraid to touch the Lord's anointed? Are you not afraid to speak against the one that the Lord has picked? For you to live long, especially in this life, if you are a young minister or if you are a young man or a young woman out there, Avoid speaking against men of God. Avoid speaking against the Lord's servant. Avoid speaking, touching where the Lord has anointed. I believe this has helped you and I believe this has encouraged you. Never speak against a man that the Lord had a covenant with. You don't know what the Lord spoke to that man about. You don't know what the Lord of God, I mean, you don't know what the Lord said to that man. Rather, avoid it. Pray for him. You will live long. This is Innocent Java signing up.